Dear friends, welcome back to Automate with Rakesh. In this video, we are going to learn about UiPath package feeds. If I'm asking you, what are the two different ways I can upload my packages that is built on my studio to orchestrator? Have you heard about tenant feed and package feed? There are two different feeds we can do. So what is this tenant feed and the folder package feed? Okay, tenant feed and folder package feed. What are those? Everything in detail we are going to learn in this video. So why delay? Let's get started. For this, on my UiPath Studio, I am going to create a blank process and give it some name. For example, I am going to say good morning. This is the simple project, good morning, which, we, which is going to show good morning message. And here, let's drag and drop an activity probably a message box activity and here let us write good morning so now imagine this is the development that we have done pretty simple one and i would like to publish it so there are two different options to publish so let me go back to my orchestrator Okay, so in the orchestrator, first of all, what we will do, we'll understand the tenant package feed. So tenant package feed means here under packages in the tenant layer, there is something called packages. And here, if you are going to load, upload the development task or the development NuGet package, then that will be called as tenant package feed. Now let's do that. Let me go back to studio. And here I'm going to hit on publish. And this is the project name. Let's say good morning. I think I had few like good morning. So let me put a name called good morning one and hit on next. Here in this option, you, you see this three options. One is orchestrated tenant process feed, personal workspace feed, custom. Personal workspace feed means if you choose that option, it is going to upload that to your my workspace here you would find your packages do you see under my workspace there is something called my packages very important point when i choose personal workspace feed here we would first go with tenant process feed and i'm going to hit on publish the moment you do this what happens in the orchestrator when you go to tenant and packages you should be able to find that specific package do you see it has come here good morning one now here once the package has come you can create a process how you like like i can go to any of the project folder automation process add process and here i can select the feed so you can see the feed is not coming here let me select another folder the folder which is created to accept the feed from the tenant let me come here add process and the good morning one yeah you can see that feed is appearing here and i can hit on next and next and hit on create by doing this a process got created now you can start now and the automation would run so what we have just done is uploaded the package that is created in studio to a tenant layer in the tenant layer we have uploaded and you can see the automation has run so first thing we have learned is uploading it to the tenant package feed now let's see how do you upload to my workspace package feed even my workspace folder contains a package feed my packages now how do you upload pretty simple process right now if you see it is completely blank all you do hit on publish hit on next this is the area where you need to focus Tenant means it is going to the tenant layer. Workspace feed means it will go to the workspace layer and hit on publish. Wait for a few seconds. And this is complete. If I go here and try to refresh. Okay. Now if you see, I went to my workspace, automations, my packages. It still, it did not come. Now there could be a reason how you have logged in so if you see i have logged into a different email account hotmail.com wherein my orchestrator is gmail.com so all you have to do i have to sign 
out from this and log into my proper email address. Sign in. I'll continue with this. Select. Okay. Now let me see. So you can see Rakesh87 for you gmail.com has appeared. Okay. Now let me hit on publish once again because last time went to a different uh, workspace. So personal workspace feed and hit on publish. Pretty simple one, right? So now just ensure you have logged into the same workspace. Now if I do this, now if I come back and log into my orchestrator. Now look at it. If I go to my workspace automation and you can see good morning. The process has been auto created and in the my packages also this package is already there. Okay, so I, I did not change the name to good morning one. So like that it appeared. Now the, the third important point I would like to cover is the folder package feed. So let's create a new folder. So when you create a new folder, let's give it some name. Let's say I'll give it as payroll team. Payroll uh, department. And here there are two options tenant package feed. You understood it directly goes to the tenant layer, and from there you pull it. There is something called create new package feed for this folder. So, for the folder that I'm going to create payroll department, it will have its own package feed. That is the meaning. Let me show you where it is. Now the folder is created. If I go to automations, and click on folder packages. Do you see this folder has got a folder packages feed? Getting it? Now, a couple of folders which are created with tenant package feed, right? If, for example, IT department, I have selected the first option, tenant package feed. Because of that, it doesn't have a package folder. But this folder I have created using the second option. Because I have selected the second option, you can see folder packages folder, uh, the new option is available. Now, for example, I would like to upload the project to this particular folder. How will I do it? So same way, hit on publish. So these are technical things that one must know. Okay, That is where if, if a question is asked during the interview, then you know how to tackle. So next thing what we will do, because I am uh, the new folder I have created, I will first refresh it. Refresh resources. Then you would see uh, the payroll department has appeared. Let me select that and then hit on publish okay publish hit on next and here if you see there are three four options now tenant process feed personal workspace feed payroll department feed so payroll department feed means it will directly go to that folder let me hit on publish and click on okay so it has been published let's go back to this one and let's refresh it here okay now you can see the the process has appeared here understood and the fourth option is the so three things you have learned tenant package feed you have learned then you have learned my workspace package feed then you have learned folder package feed some of the folders can also have package feed how you have created the folder if you have selected the second option it will have its own folder package feed now the fourth option is downloading it to local system. Now for that, let me show you. Go back to studio, hit on publish and hit on next. And here there is an option called custom. This helps you to download to the local folder. Let's say, let me select a folder. Okay, select a folder, custom. The option you have to select is custom. Remember this, hit on publish. Okay, now if you click on the downloads link here, and you can see a new get package folder has been downloaded. So that's how it is being done. So there are four different options that you have learned. I hope this video should have added some knowledge to you. If you were not aware of different ways of the package feed uh, with UiPath, I think this video should have helped you. If this video helped you, do not forget to comment and let me know that this video helped. And what is the new topic you would like to see? Please do comment and let me know in the comment section of this video. Till then, take care. Let's meet once again in a, in a new content.